dear students so welcome back to my channel happy learning mathematics so today we will be learning the 22nd chapter which is percentages so under this lesson we will be covering three important topics so this as this is a new topic for y'all we will be learn about what is a percentage so introduction to percentages the second will be to convert the fraction to a percentage and the third one is we will learn how to convert a decimal number to the percentage so let's move on to the lesson now now what is the percentage right so have you seen a sim sign similar to this anywhere okay have you seen this symbol anywhere in your day-to-day -day life? For instance, I have brought something here in order to show you the sign here. Say it kills 99.9% .9 of germs. Am I right? So, likewise, I also want you to do some homework in here to get as many labels as possible which indicate this sign okay you might be able to get a lot of there so i have done my homework where since uh, we buy tamil paper so now this is in tamil anyway doesn't matter see 50 percent it says savings see also the same 30 percentage of savings this both are taken from a supermarket advertisement so you also have to search for some labels you can search around some in your house you might be able to find them so it says actually the percentage symbol denotes that it is out of 100 so remember it's always out of the value 100 so for example let's say 25% off so in shops when you buy clothes for season times, let's say Christmas time or whatever the festival, they used to put a discounts like this, indicating 25% discount. So the meaning is for 100 rupees, if the price of the product is 100 rupees, the discount will be 25 rupees. Okay, so actually this can be represented in this way so in order to remember this easily remember these two zeros are taken and put the other side of the one so this is the way you can remember the percentage sign denotes that it is out of 100 okay the easiest example is your marks test marks so your teacher does put your marks like this am i right and she will put a big circle as well okay and or she might put like this as well so the total marks for the paper is 100 and you have obtained 90 out of it so that's why without writing this she is indicating it with the percentage sign so now you know what is percentage am i right let's move on to the second topic which is the conversion converting a fraction to a percentage so the easiest one is i already told you if a fraction is written out for 100 then you can easily convert it to a percentage simply denoting omitting the hundred and write it with the percentage sign am i right so now what if the denominator is not hundred so here we do have to do something now let's take an example one over 50 so as you can see here this one is not given for 100 
it is out of 50 actually so under equivalent fractions you might already have learned about how to make the denominator 100 in here so to make the denominator as 100 you can simply multiply it with 2 so if you multiply the denominator by 2 you should multiply the numerator by 2 as well so now we have obtained 2 into 1 is 2 2 times 50 is 100 now this 2 has been obtained out of 100 now you can easily convert it to a percentage so it's 2 percentage we read it as 2 percent we can read it as 2 percent to give you another example i am going to write 1 over Let's take another number, 3 over 4. So, here the denominator is 4. So, by which number you need to multiply in order to get the denominator as 100. So, you need to know the multiplication here. So, we should multiply with 25. 4 into 25 is 100. So, the numerator must also be multiplied with 25. Now, let's multiply 4 into 25 is 100. 3 into 25 is 75. So, now we have obtained the denominator as 100. You can convert it as a percent. So, this is read as 75. So now do you understand how to convert a fraction to a percentage? So this is very easy, is it? So the last topic. So this is a very short lesson actually. We have come to the last topic which is you have to convert the decimal numbers to the percentage. So here... We are actually going to do this in two methods. So you can do whatever method you like which you feel easier for you. So the first method, method 1. Okay. So let's do convert 0 0.2. It's a decimal number to the percentage. So as you can see here, this decimal number can be converted to the to a, a fraction first okay so as you can see after the decimal number a decimal point there is one digit so you used to write number 10 as a denominator and 2 will come on top now we have converted this decimal number to a fraction now this is this has been already learnt in your previous lessons actually how to convert a decimal to a fraction. So you should remember that in order to do, do this in this method. Okay. Now you have converted it into a fraction. Now you follow the previous method where you converted a fraction to a percentage. So now the denominator is 10. So, you need to multiply it with 10 in order to get 100. Am I right? So, this also must be multiplied with 10. So, 2 into 10 is 20. So, now we have obtained this amount out of 100. So, you can directly write as a percentage. So, this is 20. Okay, so I'll give you another example. There, yeah, it's zero point seven five. So look at this decimal number. Let's convert it, it into a fraction first. Since 
there are two digits after the decimal point the denominator will be 100 since 100 has two zeros here one digit so 10 has one zero that's why the de denominator is 10 so on top numerator will be 75 so now you don't need to multiply this because it's written out of 100 so you can directly write it as a percentage which is 75 percentage it can be written read as 75 so let's move on to the method 2 so I'll be doing the same sums in method 2 so you can choose any method okay which is easier for you so the first one is 0 0.2 so here simply multiply by 100 so you might think this is easier right just one step so this is method 2 you simply multiply the decimal number with 100 so here you should be aware of moving the decimal points down so since 100 has two zeros you need to move the decimal two decimal places forward do you remember this so it will become 20% See, we obtain the same answer here as well. So, the second question is 0 0.75 and you multiply it with 100. So, moving two decimal places forward. So, it will become 75%. So, this is easier but some find it this method easier as uh, even though it contains two steps you can follow whatever you like so remember this has two methods in it now i'm going to summarize what we have learned already so now here i have written two percentages here i mean six percent and 44 percent so we will write how to read the reading way that means this can be read as six percent here it's 44 percent next one is how to write it as a fraction so percentage symbol denotes it's out of 100 so it can be written in this way 6 out of 100 and here it's 44 out of 100. The last one is how to write it in a decimal. So 6 out of 100 means it's actually 0 0.06. 44 out of 100 means 0 0.44. So these are the things in your lesson, in your child, 22nd chapter under the lesson percentages. So here I am going to do two of the questions from your textbook. So in order to understand this lesson better. So you can refer the textbook later. So only the numbers has been changed but it's similar to the question from your textbook. So the first question is okay and obtained 22 out of 25 for a written exam express the marks as a percentage of total marks it's very easy right first we will write the marks out of its total so she obtained 22 out of 25 and they are asking us to give this as a percentage so what did we do? We should make the denominator as 100 first. So 25 has to be multiplied with 4 in order to make it as 100. So the numerator must also be multiplied with 4. So this becomes 100. 22 into 4 is 
88. Now you can write it as a percentage. So the mark she obtained is 88 percent. Did you all understand that? So the second question is this is also from your textbook okay a person spends two fifth of his income on children's education and 0 0.25 of his income for food find the total expenses as a percentage of his income so now as you can see here expenses for education is given in fraction okay so you should convert it to a percentage and then expenses on food is given in decimal number so that also must be converted to a percentage so here you should make the denominator as 100 so, 5 should be multiplied by 20. Right. So, 5 into 20 is 100. 2 times 20 is 40. So, this is 40%. Here, I am following the second method. So, you can simply multiply it with 100. So now two places from, so this becomes 25%. Now you can answer the question which is find the total expenses as a percentage of his income. So the total expenses will be 40% plus 25% which is 65%. So, he is spending 65% of his income for both education and for food. So, that's all under this lesson, children. Hope you understood it. So, you can ask me if you have any doubts in the comment section. I am ready to answer them. So, see you in the next lesson. Have a nice day.